All right, fellas, today we're talking about the hidden causes of high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And we have to talk about this because high blood pressure can have a huge effect on your body. We're talking about your vision, strokes, heart diseases, ooh, kidney damage, brain fog, and um, dementia, stress, and of course, ED and reduced libido. Now, this is something you do not want to wait to get taken care of, but here's what doctors don't tell you. And I had to find out because I had high blood pressure, but I was doing all the things the doctors were telling me. I was, I had dropped the weight, I was doing my workout. I am very aware of the salt that I intake. In fact, I don't have any table salt in my house at all. But after spending months of doing research, spending money on getting high blood pressure equipment so I could test myself every day, getting the right supplements and making some life changes, ah, my blood pressure is now down, my blood pressure is fine. So imagine waking up every morning, you have all this energy and you don't have to worry about hypertension at all. Because in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you the surprising reason for the root cause of high blood pressure. And hey, this is Uncle B, the men's performance coach with Goodwood, and I'm not going to waste any more time. We're just going to go ahead and break this down until you cannot be broken anymore. So let's talk about essential hypertension. And this is because 95% of blood pressure cases are classified as essential hypertension, which basically means that they don't know what the root cause is. And that's because high blood pressure is the symptom, not the actual problem. In this video, we're going to focus in on uncovering the root cause of high blood pressure, just so you're not just treating the symptoms. So we all know about the conventional treatment. You go to your doctor, the doctor saying, okay, we need to lose that weight, uh, reduce Reduce the salt, exercise, uh, stop smoking, stop drinking as much. And these are all ways that all helpful, but you do have people who are overweight and don't have high blood pressure, eat a lot of salt and don't have high blood pressure. They also don't work out and don't have high blood pressure. And even with the medication you're taking, 20% of the people don't respond to the medications. And of course, that's because the medications are treating the symptom and not the cause. I'm not telling you to stop using your medication. If you're going to make these changes, of course, consult with your doctor before getting off the medication. So let's get to the root causes of the high blood pressure. The number one thing is vitamin D deficiency. Yes. A vitamin D deficiency causes vasoconstriction. So basically, your blood vessels get narrower. It also increases sodium retention. Now, why is this a problem? Well, if you have more sodium in your body, your body is going to send more water to where the sodium is. So now you have it more constricted and you have more, more water and so blood trying to flow through. All of this, of course, raises blood pressure. And also, if you don't have enough potassium in your system, then the potassium actually helps your body balance the sodium levels. So people who are salt sensitive are often potassium deficient. And this is a big problem because a lot of people do not have enough vitamin D or potassium in their daily diet. And then we have another cause. It's seasonal. When it's winter time and the sun is at a different angle towards the earth, you're getting less UV light. And if you have that UV light, that UV radiation, that's when your body develops more vitamin D for you. And also, if you're darker skinned, well, yes, that's this melanin is actually acts as a sunscreen to UV rays. So you're not actually getting as much. And so, yes, if you're darker skin, more than likely you'll need to get more vitamin D supplements or, of course, just get more sun exposure. So a lot of people think it's, you know, it's just genetics when it comes to high blood pressure. And it may be more so that you just more genetically inclined not to have as much vitamin D. And so the result is in high blood pressure. And of course, we have insulin resistance and hypertension together. So if you're the type of person that likes to do a lot of snacking, doing a lot of eating a lot of carbohydrates, this is going to lead to insulin resistance. And of course, insulin resistance leads to a whole bunch of other different issues, including high blood pressure. We're talking about high cholesterol, belly fat, high blood sugar, and fatty liver. Now here's a connection, low levels of vitamin D increase the risk of insulin resistance. And of course, this would explain why obese people are more prone towards hypertension. And let's talk about magnesium, potassium, and vitamin D. Magnesium is essential for vitamin D to work properly. And if you have a deficiency in vitamin D, that can lead to a calcium buildup in your soft tissues, specifically the lining of your arteries. That is going to cause stiffness and, of course, raise your blood pressure. And if you keep on building up this calcium in your arteries and all that stiffness that comes along with it, what else comes along with this? Well, eventually death. Magnesium and vitamin D can help prevent 
that. So let's talk about the medications and some natural alternatives. Now, when it comes to the medications, they reduce blood pressure by blocking calcium, but magnesium is a natural calcium channel blocker that can have the same effect. And then you have the beta blockers. These block adrenaline from occurring, which can lower your blood pressure. Sounds good, right? Well, vitamin D and magnesium naturally lower adrenaline levels. They just act as a natural beta blocker. It's one of the reasons why you go for a good walk in the sunshine and eh, you feel more relaxed, less adrenaline. So here's some recommendations to lower your blood pressure naturally. First of all, of course, is vitamin D supplementation. We're talking about 10,000 IUs to 20,000 IUs. 10,000 IUs daily for maintenance and 20,000 IUs daily for correcting hypertension. Now, it sounds like a high dosage at 20,000 IUs, but if you want to skip all of that, just get 40 minutes of sun exposure. That'll give you 20,000 IUs naturally. Now, when it comes to magnesium, of course, you have the different supplements out there, the magnesium glyconate. Of course, you can go with the food sources. We're talking about like pumpkin seeds and almonds and spinach. And of course, if you're going to reduce the carbohydrates in your system, the, in your diet, then of course, that's going to help. And when it comes to the potassium, recommended daily allowance should be 4,700 milligrams. And you can get potassium from consuming um, like electrolyte powders and also consuming a lot of greens. So there you have it, guys. Basically, when it comes to addressing the root cause of blood pressure, you need to get that vitamin D, that potassium, that magnesium into your system. Those are going to actually get to the root cause, underlying cause of that hypertension. So use these, but of course, be careful. You want to talk to your, your doctor if you already have hypertension, but be very careful with high blood pressure. It's going to affect just about everything, including your love life. And if you want to find out how you can improve yourself, start today. You can go ahead and take the men's performance quiz. The link is down below. That'll let you know where you are with your health from a scale of 1 to 10. Very easy to understand. Take it today. And of course, you can check out this next video that's going to give you even more help with your sexual health and getting your performance good. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.